All right, peace and blessings to everybody out there. Welcome back to the Fake Woke Podcast. This is your boy, Bobby Villa, and I'm back with another video. Um, Shikari Richardson and the Soul Cap Band. Um, let's, get, let's get it started. I'm going to start with Shikari real quick. Um, Shikari is a, uh Olympic qualified uh, track and field uh, athlete. I think she set a record in a hundred meter, um, ten point six eight seconds or something like that. Some something around there. She was she was fast as fuck. Um, uh, before I think before her event, her mother passed away. She found out through an interview from a reporter, which is fucked up. I honestly feel like that's fucked up. You find out that your mom's passed from a stranger. Nah, I don't like that. Um, but for the most part, she set the record or she ran her event, came out with one of the fastest times. Um, shortly after that ends up testing positive for THC. Uh, highly unfortunate. Um, it is, it, it sucks. It sucks because, like, part of me want to feel, like, extremely bad for it and join the bandwagon of fucking black Twitter, black Instagram, the social spaces where black people dwell and, and sit there and basically say, oh, let, let her race, let her race. And I feel like she should race because how they doing it is they only suspended her. They really only suspended her from her 100 meter. And I don't even think it's the Olympic 100 meter. I think it's just like a qualifier or some shit like that, whatever, whatever it is. But she's she is allowed to race in the 400 meter. That's why I feel like she should race in the 100 meter. But look, you partook, you, you, you partook in wheat, um, whatever you did from the edible to, to, to smoking a blunt, whatever, whatever it was, uh, she did it. She owned up to it, though. And that's what I really respect about her. Uh, she owned up to it. She took accountability for her actions. And that's why I, I truly, truly respect that young lady. Um, she didn't make any excuses. She didn't make it about race. Not everything is about race, y'all. Not everything is about race. This is not about race. This is not about race. Even the George Floyd shit wasn't even about race. That was about something entirely different from race. Same as this. And I personally feel like, yeah, maybe she should race. Maybe she should race, but hey, you know, Josh Gordon got suspended for weed. Josh Gordon is a wide receiver. He he was a wide, wide receiver for the uh, Cleveland Browns. Made a stop in New England. Constantly got suspended while he was with the Browns. I think he even got suspended while he was with New England for marijuana. Michael Phelps got suspended, wasn't allowed to compete. He wasn't allowed to comp compete at all, I don't think. And the fact that she's still able to compete in the 400, I think they, I think they, or she has a chance to compete in the 400, they thinking about taking it easy on her. They just suspending her from her actual race, which I personally feel like if she gonna compete in the 400, let her compete in the 100, 100 as well. Um, but it's un it's unfortunate. I'm not here to sit here and tell people how to cope with death, especially when it comes to your mother, the one that you sh that carried you for nine months and spat your ass out through her legs. I'm not sitting here telling people how to cope with death death uh, of uh, a death of their of their loved one. I'm not here to do that. If you're going to drink, you're going to drink. If you're going to smoke, you're going to smoke. You're going to pop a shroom or two or some acid. That's on you. I'm not here to tell you how to cope with it. But you did. She did have priorities. And it's unfortunate. Yeah, it's just, it's just weed. But weed everywhere else, it's not just weed. It's not rec recreational everywhere else yet. Especially in other countries. Shit is barely recreational in the United States. Only a couple of states legalized it fully. It's not legalized on the on the federal level. 
It's not. It's not. And I understand where people is coming from, but it's just like, bro, that's what it is. She made her bed. She got to lay in it. She's not making any, any excuses for it. So y'all out there should stop making excuses for her. Y'all making more excuses than she did. Y'all are. Y'all making it. Y'all making this shit about some shit that has nothing to do with the situation. Nothing. So with that being said, hey, she may, she 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 got to take the L until further notice. Now, I'm trying to make this quick. Now let's get to the soul cap, the swimming caps, whatever you want to call those joints. Apparently, they banned a black-owned swimming cap company that creates fitted caps for swimming events for black athletes claiming that it's an unnatural fit to the skeleton um, this that and the third look if y'all gonna make if y'all gonna make all of this shit into race about race here's my advice if y'all wanna be activists if y'all feel like they're discriminating against you sit the fuck out don't allow them to make money off of your likeness because that's exactly what's going to happen. If you don't sit the fuck out, they're going to make money off your likeness. If you feel like they're discriminating against you, you still going to participate in your events. They're going to make money off your likeness. You sitting here, you hollering how oppressed you are by, 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 by the same country you trying to represent. You trying to throw that flag on your back for. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You signed up for this shit. You signed up for this shit. And now you want to complain because they won't let you wear your, 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 your swimming cap that's for your black hair because they don't understand your culture and the thickness of your hair. Sit the fuck out. Don't let them make money off your back. That's how I feel. And so show some solidarity amongst each other. Black athletes sit the fuck out. From track and field all the way to to uh, the U.S. basketball team for men and women. If you feel like they're discriminating against you because you're black, because they don't understand the thickness of your hair, sit your ass out. It will be another Olympics right after this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four more years. Who who gives a fuck? You'll still be in your prime. But you're not going to do that because black people ain't got no fucking unity amongst each other. You begging these motherfuckers for representation. You begging these motherfuckers to understand that your life matters. No. Make them understand that black power is within this country. Make them motherfuckers understand that you hold the keys. They wanna make money off of your ass. Now you either gonna allow them to do it and allow them, allow them to disrespect you while doing it, or you gonna let your nuts hang and you gonna represent your community. With your chest out and not fucking complaining about how they discriminating against you while you wearing that flag on your back. That's just what it is, man. That's just what it is. If you can't do that, then what's the point of complaining? You're complaining about some shit that you actually have control over. Fix it. Sit the fuck out. But you're not going to do it. Because you want that check. You want that check. You want that medal. You want those accolades. 
So you're going to sacrifice. You're going to sacrifice the movement for your own personal gain. It's all about your personal pockets and not what and not what's best for the community. That's what it is. And then on top of that, they're going to treat your ass like Nick Cannon. Yeah, these athletes ain't got much of a voice. They only allow you to say what they want you to say. When I mean they, I mean those elites. I mean those people that's cutting those checks. We call it the redacted. I'm not going to call them who they really are. Just call them the redacted. They be cutting those checks. And they'll cut that check off. Once you start saying some shit that they don't, they don't want you to say. But if you go, but if you go and complain, sow some solidarity amongst each other and sit the fuck out completely. Because besides that, they not going to change a thing. But apparently they're reviewing it. They talking about overturning it. Blah, blah, blah. Just so that, so, so, just so they can have some, uh, 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 uh some quote unquote representation, whatever they whatever they want to call it. We'll see. But besides that, you I don't think you niggas gonna sow any unity amongst each other. Y'all ain't gonna sit out the Olympics. Besides that. Yeah, matter of fact, yeah, y'all not. Because y'all niggas can barely set out a basketball game. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm done. Make sure you like, subscribe, and you share my videos, please. And thank you. Uh, tag me in your video. I mean, tag me in your story if you share my video, please. Thank you.